What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to run off of my last time, we continued expanding through the Caribbean and eventually selling Port Royal to the Russians for 22,000, which is a hell of a good deal. And we then captured Punda to take the Maratha Confederacy's territory in the region and we lost our general doing it. So they all need replacing. And there is a pirate navy stopping us from moving our army out. So let's take my main army, sail them down to go destroy Benito Piras, although it's a small, it's just one, just one single unit. Yeah, I don't want that. I will take the cash, because it'll allow me to begin reinforcing my navy. And then, hopping over to India, we did make landfall in the Indian territories and we need to go on a campaign into um, the Maratha Empire. I do like I do like attacking Bengal because you've got this your your you've got a diff, you've got a nice a, a, like a, a back area that you can't be flanked on. Like if you, if I hit um, Karnataka, I could be there are lots of avenues that things could go badly wrong, especially as actually the Mysoreans they trade with the Mughals, but they're not actually at war with them. They're actually protector of Dagestan. So I could potentially go for Karnataka. Because um, Mysore is not allied with the Mughals. And they are not... Um, they're not going to be dragged into war with me. So that could be an interesting option. Let's get my spy to work. Because I did see there's some discontent. And there's a fort nearby, which I could fill with troops. Which would be very useful. But one thing I want to check... Yes, I have. I've been silly with my old recruitment tricks. So let's take the first Kalmar and make sure they don't get they don't lose their name status but maintain their experience. And let's do the same with all of my other infantry units. So Can't do anything with my cavalry, they're all good. The artillery is doing what they're doing, the marines are as good as they can be. Got the eleventh is very experienced. Um, let's bump these chaps together and then let's take this 90 over here actually, actually put the 90 of them we'll see they did manage to oh so they might be able to keep, keep this infantry unit being very experienced and it did stop a bit of recruitment it did um, reduce my um, cost um, slightly because I, didn't, I don't have to replenish a unit anymore or some units anymore. I can't actually recruit any armies because I've got no money, but I will be replacing with company infantry. And I would probably like to build some infantry up in Ceylon first, so when I dump this army out to go take Karnataka, they can immediately garrison it and I can use it as a strength and a position. But let's send my spy on a bit of a sneaky beaking mission um, up to the rest of the region. Because our place in the continent is relatively secure. The Russians could always cause trouble, but that is a hell of a decent army to hold off, to hold them off um, in this fort. And it is a, is it a, is it a star fort, so it's a bit bigger than I would like. And I'm, so I might recruit some howitzers. Just could have recruited a howitzer now. No, I'll keep. Eh. As I've got it, I may as well recruit it. I'll take five turns to get here, but I, I anticipate no immediate war concerns with the Russians. So the idea is with this army, when they are replenished, I'll, I'll recruit a general next turn. Go on, let's spend the last bit of cash on... Oh, no. I did the same thing again. Although there's nothing really I can do. I mean, I could do that. Do they take the 18th and make that a sacrificial division? Sacrificial regiment. Um, but I want to expand. We'll continue pushing on with this army, knock out the pirates, and then see what the state of play is in the region. Because um, we're only making we're making 14 grand a turn. That's not bad. It's probably because I've helped knock down my I've knocked down my um, uh, my recruitment requirements. My my um, God, I've completely forgotten what it's called. Upkeep. There you go. Reduce my upkeep cost. And let's... Okay, so I might tax. Because we are a constitutional monarchy. 
Now, I don't want to tax the don't tax the middle class too much. The nobility, I'm happy to tax because they've got they've got lots of cash. Um, ah, but it is going to result in lots of well, Stockholm's okay, but Norway, Copenhagen, and Finland, yeah, they're all shrinking. So let's just keep keep these flat for now. Um, cool. I've got my garrison here ready to, to attack anyone who tries to attack uh, Denmark from the sea. And I am slowly starting to build up a... Well, I say slowly build up. I've got a pretty decent navy here now. With first, second rate in the fleet. And I've got somewhere... Oh, is this in Portsmouth? Uh, it's in Portsmouth I've got. Got my next fleet on the go. Cool. Let's hit end turn. So I've been jabbering on too much and I need to get more stuff done. So the French have been driving eastwards. I'd be intrigued to see what they do um, in their theatre of war because they've got... is it Munich? That's Prussia. You can see it. Well, you could see it just at the top of the map. They have, But it looks like Prussia has one or two regions because it looks like there's Saxony rebelled, and it looks like they're Austria or Sp S who owns. <laughs> yeah, still after their old tricks. Nope. Well, not to give away my core territories, I will sell them colonies if they have the cash. Because I mean, I don't normally like giving away territories, but twenty-two grand for just Jamaica—that's a hell of a good deal. And I think we are stronger for it. The pirates are going to be intercepting my trade. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yep, don't worry about ports for now. Let's repair the, repair the barracks. Let's get a general Ulrich Salgren. Finish off the replenishment. Probably need, yep, need roads. And a port. Let's upgrade a sugar plantation. And let's get a craft workshop. Good, you're going to be boom town. You're going to be, in a, you're going to be booming soon. Lots of good growth. Ah, okay, it's still on. They got basic roads. Okay. So let's spend some more money on replenishment. Good, because I do need to build more. I do need more troops to subdue India. But, it's... but this is a mul this is an enduring an enduring uh, problem. So when they're replenished, we'll go take out that will take San Jose. Then these guys will be my Caribbean force, ready to respond on attacks against my territory. Yep, it's the artillery that's been recruited, and they're going to start the long march. All my recruitment, all my research is going okay. Let's see what could be interesting is to start sending navies up to the trade theatres. That would be a good idea. If I start upgrading my fleets to first, second, and third rates, then I'd be inclined to send some stacks of fourth rates off to the trade theatres. All the Austrians are attacking the, the Ottomans. Always got to be ready for the Spanish count on Lai <laughs> when other <laughs> other armies start expanding. Uh, well, especially when the, the human players stick infantry and artillery, which at the start is all we'll need. Oh, see they again. They want Bahamas for 11 grand. But I'm not interested in that. In the end, it's probably still a worthwhile deal. Oh, thank you, Louisiana. Oh, God, they're going to... No, don't clear the Spanish out. Damn, the perfect balance would have been if they cleared the pirates away from me and lost against the pirate army against the Spanish. Because that pirate army against the Spanish is not doing anything to me. If it interrupts the Spanish, that's that's all to the good. Oh, the Greeks are on the route, are en route to the Atlantic. They've just passed some Barbary states. Let's see if the pirates have any response to Louisiana that Navy. Land nope. suitable for farming in this okay. So you're still replenishing. Build the unit of East India Company infantry. You have to be ready because this territory will start to get blockaded by the Mughals and then it will start to really. the value you get from it. I mean. 
There's low yield gem mines, average yield T. I'm still going to invest in it because it's worthwhile investing in it, especially if this is going to be like a, a jumping off point to the continent, which is what it usually becomes because the United Provinces tend to be tend to get destroyed. So T warehouse gets me 60 chests of T and lower your gem mine is still 1250 to wealth. So let's do this because it's two turns cheap and takes less time. Then let's go to here. And let's keep going with the the navy side because I don't want to ease up on that. I want to expand. Especially if I can start to get send some of these guys off to the trade theatres. Because right now I've never really I never really explore the trade theatres. They're always a bit more risky. Ooh, this one's the Mughals. I could nick theirs. That would be useful. No visibility on what's going on in Brazil. Madagascar is also the Mughal Empire. The Madagascar and the Ivory Coast are both they're both ivory. God, my treasury mess is brilliant. Usually ivory, and ivory's not even the best, it's still spices. Sugar, so Brazil's currently better. Because Brazil's sugar. I oh, know, sorry. So Brazil so it goes in order of preference. It's Ivory Coast, Straits of Madagascar, the coast of Brazil, the East Indies is top with spices. But similarly I have no visibility over there. But with Ceylon, I will have a good base to start to send fleets fairly quickly over into the region. So let's... Oh, I can't recruit any more. Let's put a militia unit. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff being built in Ceylon. That sees my income tick up to 16,000, which is lovely. You are still replenishing. So let's hit and turn again. So let's see what happens in Europe. See, why is it interesting having... See, I want to crew, crew more rakes. Oh god, the Austrians won. It'd be nice to have more rakes to send, to just keep an eye on the interesting fronts. Normally rakes just accumulate and don't do anything. But the nice, especially it might make things a bit more interesting if you start to get bogged down by the Ottoman Empire. Because as it as is... Okay guys, rather frustratingly, through that first end turn phase, my recording stopped. And I've done a little bit since then. So, just to give you a quick rundown. Um, we spotted a Mughal fleet moving between these areas, and I've sent ships out to look for them, but haven't managed to find them, so I suspect they're going to the Americas. Um, we have taken the Leeward Islands, but that was just an auto-resolve because it was a small pirate army that wasn't going to be very fun to, to build, to fight against. It wasn't going to be fun for you guys to watch. Um, and the pirates have raided me, knowing that they're on the back heel, and they only have one avenue out. And we have landed in Karnataka, but we haven't fought it yet, and we do have a force on the way. I don't know what I can I can assassinate, but... Oh, actually, he's still, the, he's still a general. Oh, got him! Good lad. Oh, okay, this is a... <laughs> okay, this is for a minister. I thought it was for my spy. I'm like, what? What? He cures someone and he, f he becomes brilliant at bookmaking. Okay, let's send on Tidarabad. So the idea is I've got to recruit forces to be ready to jump on this capture. So I want to take Karnataka, which that's an auto resolve if ever I've seen one. But actually, what I probably want to do is take this recruitment, cancel it. Cancel it all. Before it overall replenishes. Uh, nope. Uh, no, I, don't think, I don't think anyone can change. I don't think anyone, and there's no one that can help each other. My lower infantry are good. If I put no quality infantry into that, that'll break, drag it down from three to two again. Well, I don't know. Let's give it a go. Oh no, it did keep it three. Awesome. Let's probably try the same really. you. Good. Let's everyone replenish. Can't fix the camp, but we are in an entrenched position now, ready to receive this army. 
which now you'll actually get to see because previously it's all just been fighting well it's just been maneuvering around the map so Konatika is ours and let's try and see if we can get oh no my sword's indifferent they don't like our religion they don't like our government type but in general we want to keep them on side for now because right now they are forcing the the Murgles to have to come at us through this narrow corridor what I'd like to do is recruit troops to get them in this port, in this um, fortress, to help act as a bit of a reserve. Oh, yeah, another another trait for Frederick Carlson. Hell of a good general. Awesome. Let's hit end turn, and let's see if this recording breaks because of the Ottomans' turn. Um, I like. No, I'm not giving you socket bayonet. No way, Jose. So the Austrians are actually doing rather well. well I don't think the French are going to withstand them. So the 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 Austrians managed to um the the Ottoman force that was near. So I have to look. Any moments like that are update. <laughs> uh, no. I'm not giving you Ireland for selective breeding. Ah! They don't fancy their chances anymore. And they're going to... Oh, no, they're not going to raid my port. Ah, oh, there's their... What? Okay, that's not good. But it's London, so I'll get a garrison with a fort. They've not got many troops. Still not terrible. To be honest, based on the fact that I've seen the, Mur the Mughals invade London or England before, I should probably keep more of a garrison there than I do. Yep, yeah, pirates on the move. There is unused land suitable for plantation. Don't worry about plantations. Let's try and build a sloop. Okay, so let's get my, my buccaneers. Out we go. Boot them out of my port, and let's fix it. But before we do anything else, let's go have a look at you. I mean, it's not a terrible army. And I've got three. Oh, do I? No, I don't have walls. Oof. Okay, need to scrape together some troops. Copenhagen will help. Norway will help. Oh, okay. This is this is doable. So let's take. You guys to there. I want to do it separately because I don't want to. Ooh, actually, I need to take my take the Baltic fleet, such as it is. Chase away their fleet of sloops and pansy ships. Just dice them up. Um, not interested in any of that. I'll take the money, please. Why is it still giving me dangerous territory? Like, that's my ship. They're all my ships. Okay, I'm going to put you into here. Oh, okay, it was just a bug. Okay, so let's put you up, uh, up to Bergen. So this army... Which is still embarked, or it should still be embarked. No, it's not. Oh no, I didn't even embark them, did I? I moved them to the port. Oh, that's not good at all. Disembark. Oh no, okay. I can I can reinforce. So let's take the gems if I can get these guys in here. I am aware I've got that entire garrison in the fort. Okay, now that looks really good. They've got elephants, they've got annoying cavalry, they've got some artillery. 
but not a lot to actually cause lots of trouble. And to be honest, that could be enough just to scare them off. So I might just recruit two units of heavy cavalry and a 12 pounder. Ooh, I can recruit lots of stuff here. How it's uh, Okay. That's all the infantry I can get in one turn. Oh, there we go. The maximum amount of stuff I can recruit in one turn to then go and crush them. Let's take my ships out of port. Sell them back to their original homes to protect their ports. Let's replenish these guys. Let's take this navy up here. Actually, let's make sure I have selected them all. Go to the East India Trade Theatre. Nope, there's no point giving you a commercial port yet. Iceland. And you don't need a sloop because your ship's going to be due back soon. Okay, London. Okay, you. This rake. Try and snipe that general. Bang! Got him! So that's their elephants dealt with. Plus one subterfuge for an assassination missions. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so this ship's going to come back. And you're going to get pick up a second rate, another third, and a second, and a third. The Baltic Fleet is. I know this is for my trade theatre. They're still recruiting, but let's also get another second for my trade theatre. For my Baltic Fleet. Let's repair this. And then. Let's take these two units of Sipoys. Get them into port. Take them into Calicut. Disembark the troops. And move them out to the Great Fortress. And then let's shoot a fourth rate back to Colombo. Till a sloop is recorded till a sloop is re um, recruited, then I can send it back to Mysore. But it's, it's a shame they've chosen not to do battle. Trying to assassinate someone. Yeah, let's do Jai Rathor. Damn, they found me. Um, I think I might shunt out up onto a hill just to try and provoke them to do battle because Karnataka thankfully isn't going to route considering I've just abandoned it. Lots of building in Ceylon. Good stuff. End turn. So let's see what the the. Uh, the Mughals near London do. If they attack me, then I'll sally out, then just engage them. I do not like... Oh, okay. Oh, the Austrians have actually beaten the French back in Prague. And they've taken back Prague. Oh, and the Spaniards have taken... have dealt with the, the problem of the pirates. So then we've got being sneaky boys. Put an eye on what's what's going on. Leave them to it, because always that will just really annoy me. <laughs> well, she looks like the Austrians took Zagreb back as well. I'm over at my recording. Good. It's all still going. <laughs> You want the Bahamas and Sweden for lots of terrible regions? No. I need to make absolutely sure I don't click accept by accident, because if we do, that'd be a massive blow and I'd immediately declare war on Russia to get Sweden back. The barbs are being the barbs are being barbs. Pirates are being pirates. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Okay, hold on. Building plantation. Let's not go crazy. So first of first things first. Build a gunnery school. I can't, because I don't have reorganised procurement. Cambridge, get on it. Odense, you can get on to Help me build up my tax base, because that's currently what I'm missing. And Upsal I can carry on doing Bill of Rights. Rights of man. Yes, see, they've hunkered down. Because they don't want to do anything. Okay, let's get a 
General Hartman Lindfors. Let's go dip. Let's go kill them for the only action that's been in this. This has been dull. Then imagine the fact that you've probably lost about 10 minutes of me preparing that prior to this. If you love wealth better than liberty. Oh, that's way too long for me to read. Good old Sam Adams. Any handy hills? Not really. And you they'll too much suffer here because it's not got It's not got a good field of fire and it usually hates firing through trees and, and buildings because fire by li uh, line of sight is usually still quite a big problem. It's a very unbalanced flank, but I want my left to hold and my right to be the offensive one. So let's put a heavy and a light cav on the left, on the right, a heavy cav on the left. And let's have a look at these mountain troops. Oh, they're green. That's misleading. But they do look good, I must admit. 120 range, the outrange, good accuracy. Let's put them on this side. And my general, my currently unbloody general. Oh wow, the infantry's right up, the artillery's right up in our face. Okay, so then let's take our right flank. Oh god, I deployed these the complete wrong way around. Go on then, houses. Have your fun. So don't worry about shooting at the artillery, it's just one set of guns, that's not a concern. I mean, I might push up on this flank as well, because why not? Because we've been given an opportunity to. We're being shot at by their artillery. Let's run my, walk my cavalry just straight through the line. It's only just, and I, know, I know it's just four units of infantry I'm, ex I'm bringing on the right flank, but four units of line infantry with all the trimmings is really, really powerful. Especially when you're against subpar infantry, weak cavalry. These guys are all skirmish cav. Skirmish cav they like to treat as, the AI likes to treat as regular cavalry at times, so... Yeah. Bring my cavalry in and prepare for a, a great cavalry battle. Oh, I forgot this regiment fit. Does that mean I've got pikes advancing? No, good. Let's advance the pikes through the centre with some infantry. And if they let my cavalry just walk towards them for long enough. Have them. Come on. Nope, they fled. Let's pull my cavalry back. Pikes. That has been joined on this flank. Charge my cavalry in, I think. Let's 
they're going to pick apart this unit of Kambisi warriors, but to be honest, they've got lots of good cavalry. Just keep an eye out for their pikes, wherever they are. Nope, pull back. I see these horse spikes. I don't know where their pikes are. Oh, their pikes are back there. Yep, they form square, so just, just retreat. going in. Square remains solid. We're shaking but not for long. Oh, they're charging in. Yeah, they did break my square, but... Yep, yeah, they run away, but these pikes will have had enough of them. They might even come back. Send the conscripts in to go knock out the guns. Immediately halt fire right fire by rank. Because you're about to get charged, Indian mercenaries. Messy battle, but it's my first one of the session. Despite how long the session's been. These are guard cavalry. They'll scythe through these militia very, very nicely. So I could be content with just letting them flee. Let's hold my artillery fire. Yep, wavering because of heavy cavalry just chopping through you. Low defence, low morale, high numbers. Oh, they actually broke my original force. Fair enough. But will they break my line infantry that's coming in? Unsurprisingly, the men on foot could not chase down the horsemen. Gone 37th, just stay long enough, stay in the area long enough for my pikes to get in the combat. Hey, the musketeers came, some cavalry came back. Wow, they're like, I was going to say, they're like cavalry managed to rout my pikes. Just keep chasing them down. Oh, and these guys with their, with their bows and arrows. Bad things happen. Get in the combat. Just charge straight in. on everyone. Have them. They're no one. See? They're even running because they can't stand it. Mm. The cavalry are ahead so right, let's, end, let's end the battle there then I'll, I'll chase them down a campaign map. Oh no they're dead. Awesome. 
So let's keep the experience going. Could lose this unit entirely. No, it's 14 men. Awesome. Militiamen, get back to Portsmouth. You guys, get back to London. What can you build? Naval College? May as well. Lots of traits gained from various people. Hardman Lindfors. Oh, the Patriotic Sword. So you've become quite a little dish. Patriotic Sword, standing under fire, and commanding general. So we've got the craft workshops. London still really likes me. Awesome. Yes, you've got Carcass Shop, but I've changed you. Good. Don't. I'm not really bothered about, re about upgrading this, but at some point I'll have to. Um, it's in the Americas. I mean, you can't recruit anything because nothing exists, but let's take you guys. Actually, except for you. In that order. Embark the army. Send them to go attack the pirates. In their get ready to destroy their last homeland. You're going to stay behind to garrison the port while we do some upgrades. And the Leeward Islands does not like me leaving. Oof, not one bit. I mean, the general helped. Just the general. Let's recruit Union of Dragoons to do garrison duty. So Spain have almost knocked out all of the, the native peoples. Actually, no, the native peoples have gone. Georgia bought territory. So where did Georgia... What did Georgia give up in, in, in compensation? I don't know. Like France that has Tunis. Hmm. Okay, so you need to... You go south. Actually, no, you might go towards Munich. And then this rake can go down towards the Ottoman Empire. These war galleons can go catch up with my fleet. It's just gone over there. Over to the Indies. Persia still owned by Persia. The Ottomans are still at peace. Okay, well, didn't really have a target, so let's let's build up a <laughs> build up our garrison in Karnataka, and then push up, I suppose. <laughs> they got anyone here worth killing? They do. Assassinate. Oh, you missed him again. They are upgrading lots of buildings. It could be in our in our interest to let them do it. But I think with the loss of Karnataka, they've lost a good that's a good chunk of cash. Sixteen hundred a turn. Like our tax is worth more than our trade now. Which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna say end turn one more time. Uh no. I know, you're building up a scary navy in the Bristol Channel, and at some point we're going to have to fight each other, but that's okay, because we're growing our navy too, and you're at war with Austria. It's a pretty comprehensive war you've got going on. So I can understand why you might be a bit fidgety and looking for friends, but we don't need friends like you, France, because you will just cause us grief and trouble. Whereas we're doing quite well with that at the minute. On our own in in India. If I made a Indian army of just Indian troops and company troops, you I wouldn't have access to heavy cavalry unless I built unless I captured a major city. Maybe these major cities I'd have to rely on to produce things like grenadiers. Because regular mercenaries, sepoys, you want Norway. You want Norway for the Northwest Territories. And these things. No, it's a better offer, but no. And what's a better offer? It's not as dopey as the rest of them. Ah, okay. 
So they are moving troops to Hyderabad, which makes sense because we are going to siege them. But we need to be ready to pull back if they suddenly bring like another two stacks out of nowhere. There is a port that has not yet another been rake in Sweden. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. Oh, let's hop back to Sweden. The rake. Let's put the rake near Paris to have a better look at what's going on there. So Denmark's got their commercial base and Sweden will get theirs soon. Still going strong. A war guy in a second, so let's get a second and a third. Ports must back in business and they've got they've got a decent navy on the go. Good. Fleet arrives, our trade navy is here. So this area is not claimed. To be honest, I think lots of them aren't claimed. But I don't want to weaken my fleet. So what's that given us? Three grand. Probably three grand's worth of spices. Yeah, lots of spices. Awesome. So I might send some of the new the new third, new galleons when they show up onto another trade theatre. Because to be honest, lots of these look on Prussia and Portugal, which we're currently fine with. Um, yeah, you can recruit basic stuff in one of these smaller towns, but you need one of these bigger ones to recruit things like grenadiers and heavy cavalry. So let's recruit. Let's recruit heavy cavalry and grenadiers, specialist stuff that we'll need off the island. And then let's recruit stuff that we can more easily use on the mainland. And let's try and kill you again. He's missed three times. Striking on the Leeward Islands, but now they're okay again. And then let's take Frederick Carlson. Mortar, lots of chaff. To be honest, I think I might even just assault it, because I think I've got good troops, good enough troops. And I can bring some reinforcements up from the south. Um, but looking at the timer, that's definitely the next part, because we've overrun. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. In the next part, we'll bring Danish culture to the swines in Hyderabad. Alright, cheers, guys.